Hello and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube. Hope you are today, hope you're feeling grand, and always well in your world. I certainly am, as I have. Well, you've already seen it, you've already technically heard it. But what is it? Let me tell you. So this guitar here... ...is... ...an Ortega Americana, Americana Series... ...Resonator Guitar. It's mahogany bodied, uh, blackwood fretboard, stunning guitar. I love the split headstock. I love their logo as well. The Ortega logo is fantastic. This thing is amazing. There are, well, there's one major down point that I've got upon this guitar, but this has been very kindly sent to me by the awesome people at Ortega. Uh, I met them at the Birmingham Guitar Show and they let me try one of these and said, oh, would you like to demo one? I was like, yes, please, very muchly. So they sent me this one and it's amazing. It really is. Apart from the one downside, which I'll get to in a minute. But before I get to that, just listen to this. So I've got it in E flat, by the way, people tune. So if it sounds a bit weird, that's why. I've got it in E flat tuning, so. But it's just got a gorgeous sound. It does the bluesy thing, it does the side thing, but it also does really nice strummy things. And like I say, it does that classic blues thing as well. Insane. It's so articulate as well. I just love it. 
So, let's get to the downside. What's the downside? Well, there's two, kind of, in my opinion. One is, when I got this guitar, it had a set, it must have been, like, gauge 12s on it. Me, no likey big strings. I just do not get on with big strings um, at all. So the gauge 12s went very, very rapidly, and I restrung it with um, 10 to something or another. Um, Diodario strings. And it just immediately felt way better. The, the big strings were just, it was so... It made the guitar so stiff and like just tensed up like this. As soon as I put the lighter strings on it, this thing just kind of came alive for me. Because the neck... Oh, God! It's just insanely playable. Uh, one thing I'm still getting used to, you know, people do, is the size. It is tiny. If you're a big person, that might pose a bit of an issue. Um, this is literally perfect for me. I love the size of it. Uh, I like the fact you can only really get to... You can kind of get to the 12th fret, but no further. Like the old resonators of old, it stops at the 12th fret. And I like that, because it, it forces you to kind of like... If you're playing slide, you've got to kind of get past that. It's fun. I like the challenge. Um, it, the neck is so comfortable. It's a lovely kind of C-shaped neck. The action is fantastic. The setup is fantastic. The fretwork is fantastic. The nut is cut perfectly. Oh my god, I'm rambling like a lunatic. And before anybody says, you're only saying that because they sent you it, Dave. I'm not. Because we'll get into a negative in a minute, which I think is a pretty major negative, actually, to be honest. This guitar, though, is fantastic, and I love it. Like I say, it's electric as well. You've got this really cool lipstick pickup in there and a volume and tone. Yes, you heard me correctly, people the tube. That's the tone, that's the volume. The volume's at the back, tone is at the front. I thought it'd be the way around. I thought it'd be like a Telecaster, so you have a volume and a tone. But it's actually a tone and a volume. But, oh my God, is this thing fun when it's plugged in. Which we will do in but a short while, people the tube. Actually, you know what? No, we won't do that because it buzzes like a moo moo. But we'll, we'll get to it in a minute. But it's amazing. So, negative. Major negative of this guitar is the machine heads. They're not particularly great at all. Um, they look cool. They have that kind of like, you know, they, they look right to the guitar. You know what I mean? They have the, the aesthetic. They're kind of like that relic look. But they're just not very responsive. And if you're like me with one of these guitars where you're going from standard tuning to dadgad tuning to open G to open C to open A... On a regular basis, like every time I pick this guitar up, it's in a, I want to put it in a different tuning because it's a resonator and it makes me want to do things like that. So, it, well, all acoustics make me want to do that. But this one especially makes me want to kind of play slide and just go nuts with it, especially plugged through an amp. Yes. And the machine heads uh, are just not quite up to the task. They're, 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 that, they're that kind of machine head that's kind of like, no, not responsive, not doing anything, not doing nothing, doing, not doing anything, not doing anything, and I'm sharp. It, you know, it's really hard to get this thing precisely in tune. When you do get it in tune, they hold it perfectly. It doesn't go out of tune at all. If you, you know, once, once you get it set and it's in tune, it's fine. It's just a bit of a pig to do that sometimes. Like, because there's so much play in the, in the machine heads, it's a bit of a nightmare. So... Changing just drop tuning takes more time than it should because the machine is unresponsive. Tuning up, you always go sharp. It, it becomes a bit of a... Uh, kind of a bit of a, 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 a teeth grinder moment, if you will. But, like I say, once you get the thing in tune, it's fantastic. But, like I say, I want to be able to change tunings on a, on a whim, you know, on, on at will. I want to be able to do it as ran, uh, like rapidly and, and whenever I feel like it. And I just don't feel like I can at this point in time with the guitar, sadly. Because that would just make it perfect. If I could get some machine heads that are a bit more responsive, you know, actually turned, you know, when you turned it, the string moved, not half a turn later, uh, it would be nice. But that is a big negative, that is. Again, 
not a hard fix, to be fair with you. Uh, you know, you can get different machine heads, and I'm sure they're, you know, these, these kind of like, you know, free and aligned split head things, you can get them very easily, change them. Easy peasy. And I, I'll, I'll probably do that and report back to you, people at YouTube, in the future about how that's going. I just want to play it, though. I don't really want to talk. Like I say, it's mahogany body, mahogany back sides, mahogany neck. Blackwood neck, which I thought was ebony to start with, it's actually just called Blackwood, and it's just gorgeous. It it does look like ebony. It's got that kind of the same look of ebony. It feels fantastic. The binding is great. The frets, oh my god, the whole thing is amazing. It's just a, it's just a shame about those machine heads. I just love the way it sounds. And the fact you, you know, it, uh, resonators have that thing of like, you know, they're a blues guitar. Yeah, they, def they definitely are. But they can be so much more than that. Like I say, just strumming open chords, cowboy chords. It's just gorgeous sound, it's so rich. goes it rings for days and it's such a rich sound I love it and you can talk into the resonator which is always fun but like I say if I hit this really hard it's gonna peak the camera <laughs> Fantastic. That's just amazing. Anyway, people, should we plug this thing into an amp? I think we should. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit too excited now. Anyway, uh, the only thing I don't have is a strap because uh, there's one strap button at the back, but um, there's none at the front. Again, in keeping with tradition of these kind of guitars, um, usually what you do is get a bit of string and tie the strap through the headstock area here and just do it that way. But I don't have a strap that I can do that with right now. So I'm just going to have to sit down, unfortunately. I'm not overly happy about that. Anyway, but we're going to plug it in anyway and make some noise with it. So the next thing you're going to hear, Pooh Tube, is this through the Marshall and my pedals. Let's make some noise.
Okay, I don't know what happened there. My camera just said thank you, goodbye, and turned off. Don't get that one. Anywhere, people, tube, I was going to say goodbye. The camera was just like, I'm off before everybody. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Anyway, again, massive thanks to Ortega Guitars for sending this. Massive thanks for you to watching, people, tube. Hope you enjoyed this vid. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. And have you got one of these? Have you tried one of these? What are your thoughts? And again, if you have tried one of your own, what are your thoughts on the machine heads? Uh, let me know. Like, like I say, everything else about this guitar, there isn't anything else to pick apart. It's just amazing. It's just literally these things. Anyway, oh, and the, and the fact it comes with like ridiculously like gauge strings, like gauge twelves, which nobody needs. Anyway, 
Thank you very much indeed. Uh, if you like this channel, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon to support it. The link to that is in the description box below, as well as links to all other stuff here and there. Uh, thank you very much indeed for watching, and I'll see you again. Goodbye now. Thank you very much indeed, and uh, have an E chord, everybody, an E flat minor. Yes.